Laws, we'll start with you and who is your garbage person of the week? Garbage person of the week, the year, the 90s, the 2000s, former mayor of my hometown, Rudy Rudolph Giuliani. I still have okay. a substantial number of New Yorkers, despite even the liberals here who love me and come up and thank me, particularly African Americans, I have to tell you, for helping them and getting them jobs. And now I've become much more popular here with Adams and de Blasio. And I have people begging me to come back as mayor. Again, minorities, African Americans, Democrats. This is crap. Um, again, I, I can say this as a black New Yorker, uh, somebody who's been black and a New Yorker my whole life, um, <laughs> which is 36 years. I can promise you that I've never met a single black New Yorker who had nice things to say about Rudolph Giuliani. Now, if we're talking about some of the ethnic whites of New York City, um, meaning the Italians, the the the, the Irish people, uh, some of the Poles in places like Greenpoint, yeah, they might have liked Giuliani a lot more than we did for sure. And even amongst that cohort, there were people who had serious critiques of Giuliani. But I can promise you. No Jamaican, Trinidadian, Haitian, Black American, Nigerian, you name it, brand of Black New Yorker liked Giuliani in his time or thinks much of him today. That is just a blatant lie that he is spewing on Rupert Murdoch's airwaves, y'all. <laughs> it really was like very. White savory of Rudy Giuliani. This is nuts. And just to pretend that he hasn't, you know, at the one point he did, you know, have a particularly post 9 11 had a positive media portrayal of him, but to pretend that he hasn't lost all of like the goodwill that he had created around himself so, by so this I think point. What, I think what he was trying to do is legitimate liberal hypocrisy around like George Bush, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, man. We hated Bush before, but this Trump thing is, is terrible. Maybe Bush number two weren't so bad, which is preposterous. He's the worst president since I don't even know, like, it, like the worst ever possibly. He's possibly the worst president ever, but that's neither here nor there. But that's a legitimate phenomenon that happened amongst a certain group of rich, privileged, liberal cohort, right? Um, that ain't happened with black people and Giuliani <laughs> in the city of New York. I'm sorry, it's not a thing and never will be. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so fun. It's it reminds me of how the Republicans were like, oh, you know, Trump's mugshot is going to increase his yeah, support yeah. with the black, black people. Community. Just love jailbirds. We just love anybody who goes to prison. We just automatically love them, whether we know them or not, whether they did it or not. You go to prison, black people just start loving you as if you're Stevie Wonder. I swear to God, man, just go to prison. Just make it like the most street racist cred. argument they could yeah. possibly be making. All blacks love street cred. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, Rudy Giuliani sucks big time. I am glad that he's running out of money to pay for his legal fees. And I'm sure if anyone is gonna end up in jail of these people who are being indicted, Rudy Giuliani is gonna end up in jail. Of that I am certain. <laughs>Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.